Hello everyone, how are you today? This is Dina Lee, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much to all my subscribers. We're finally at a thousand subscribers. Yay! It only took me a little while, but that's okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming back to the channel, watching the videos, for commenting, and uh, I'm just so glad that you're here. So I'm Dina Lee, this is Starlight uh, Tarot and True Crime. And today I'm doing a reading on um, Amber Heard's attorney, uh, Elaine. I can't remember what her last name is right now. She just left my brain for some reason. But there have been some interviews on television where she is basically being what, well, this is my opinion, a very sore loser. And also, in my opinion, um, uh, insulting our intelligence. And when I say our, I mean the collective and the jury is certainly part of the collective. Um, I'm not sure what Elaine's background is, if she has any uh, DV uh, situations in her background, what her childhood was like, but any of us who have uh, some life experience have dealt with toxic people in our lives, okay? And those of us that have had quite a few experiences with toxic people um, can spot toxic behavior pretty quickly, right? We can spot, and even if you haven't studied things like uh, narcissism or uh, sociopaths, you know, people that don't have a conscience, people who lack empathy and things like that. We can tell that there's something off with someone. We can usually tell when someone's a pathological liar in an objective situation where we're not close to it. Um, now, a lot of you highly sensitive people and empaths, you tend to get caught up with these types of personality disorders because you're too close to the subject, right? And maybe that's the case in Elaine's situation. She's listened to this woman probably for months and months, um, tell her story and all that. But in my opinion, this whole thing is just, it's, I don't understand where, what she's trying to do here, except victimize them, at, themselves as a team, victimize Amber all over again. Now, everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only. Please do your own research, okay? The opinions I express in this video are mine and mine alone. And uh, let me know what your opinions are in the comments below the video. So I'm gonna do a reading on this uh, Amber Heard's attorney, Elaine, and see if this, telling these kinds of stories, like they're a victim of, uh, the media, of social media, of the public, that because the jury was not sequestered, they could have been highly influenced by social media, their friends and family, people who were watching the trial footage. Uh, also, the fact that uh, the trial was televised uh, is a problem with, you know, the final result and all of these things. It seems to me like she is unable, or maybe she's speaking on behalf of her client, unable or they are unable to understand that they lost and they were given a fair trial, okay? And that we, the viewers of this trial, are actually intelligent people, have our own life experiences, and just because someone tells a story doesn't make it true. Now, I'll say this right now. There's nothing in me that believes that Johnny Depp is an innocent little lamb and has never done anything wrong. He admits his issues, right? He admits the use of, um, you know, drugs and, and alcohol and things like that. And that's honestly, I think, why the majority, majority of us trust him more because even though it was probably difficult for him to talk about some of these things, some of his vices, he still does it, okay? He just wants the truth out. And if you listen to some of those videos, he's actually saying that, or in some of the audio recordings, he's actually saying that to Amber. I just want the truth. Just tell 
the truth, the truth. And so there is, in my belief, a truth frequency that we can all pick up and all understand. And we can also detect a lie. We are built that way to be truth detectors and human lie detectors, okay? So I'm not saying that he's never lied or anything like that and he's a perfect innocent little lamb, let's just make that clear. But in these proceedings, in this trial, in this lawsuit, um, I believe that justice was done. And it's not like Amber didn't win anything. She won $2 million, okay? The jury wasn't polarized one way. So let's not forget that. And Elena is speaking as if Amber didn't win anything. Her point wasn't made. The lawsuit was a slander lawsuit against Johnny Depp. It wasn't about whether she was an abusive person. It was about the slander. And so, but we all picked up <laughs> kind of as a side um, benefit. We all got to pick up that how abusive she actually is. So let's just do the reading and see if Elaine is going to garner any kind of support from the public uh, based on these interviews that she's doing on television. This is what happens when you give every kid a trophy, guys. And there's no consequences for, you know, not for, for the way you treat people. It's like, I should have won. I'm entitled to winning because I say so. Um, I believe Amber is a pathological liar, among other things. But that's my opinion. Angels, teachers, guides, angels, teachers, guides, my personal team of angels, teachers, and guides. I hope you all are having a wonderful day today. Hope you're taking time out to breathe, spend some time out in nature. And thank you for spending time here today. Lawsuit, or I'm um, sorry, <clears throat> Elaine, Amber Heard's attorney. Are all these interviews going to garner her any kind of support and effect and appeal or outcome of appeal? Thank you. Oh man, I got this um, in another reading that is actually not up yet. It's on the World Economic Forum, the Smoky Mirror. Okay. And it is. I mean, she's just throwing up smoke and mirrors, trying to cloud the situation with stuff that that doesn't matter so i'm going to just read the first part of this to you so um you can hear it straight from the shaman the smoky rare mirror oops represents the aspects of what is implied yet cannot be immediately known in the world the mystery of how things come together and how they fall apart without obvious causality this symbol also represents represents the shadow of the human psyche, the parts of the self that one disowns. The smoky mirror can also represent a state of denial or refusal to see the truth. And that's exactly what Elena is doing right now and possibly Amber Heard. They are refusing to understand that we are all not stupid idiots that don't get or understand what happened? We we actually do. We are, uh, a lot of us are, you know, pretty highly intelligent people. We can see, we can see the body language. You know, we can see how words don't do or don't match body language. We can hear sincerity. We can see overacting. We can see a lie, hear a lie, and feel a lie, okay? That is the point of this. It's like they just don't understand that we actually do understand, okay? That's, that's a narcissist for you right there. That's narcissistic thinking, is that they're the most intelligent people in the world, and why would we, you know, not agree with them, okay? Because we're all just an extension of the narcissist, okay? We're not, we don't, we're not individuals. 
It's also the problem with the World Health Forum situation, which I'll post tomorrow. I've done that reading twice and it is slightly disturbing. Okay. Let me just teach you guys. When I pull some more Oracle cards, will all of Elaine's interviews change the public opinion of what's going on? Yeah, poised in reverse. I usually don't read reversals. I think she's sinking herself here. I don't think she could possibly understand what's happening. She looks very confused and she keeps blaming a lot of this on the fact that Johnny Depp is a big movie star and you know all his fans are just not paying attention to the facts so they're only supporting him because he's Johnny Depp and one interviewer said but Amber Heard is also a movie star so and she just kind of had this blank expression on her face. She, she, there's some, something is not computing in Elaine's mind, in my opinion, okay? Are these talks by Elaine, is this strategy going to get them anywhere in public opinion or the court? Community, they're trying to get the community together. Um, I think they're asking everyone to see things a different way, okay? Instead of being so, you know, rigidly in support of Johnny Depp. And they're trying to build a community of support for Amber Heard that just simply hasn't been there. I mean, sure, there's some people who are supportive of her, as with anything, if that would be normal, right? Nobody, Nobody's always gonna agree on everything. So they're trying to build a bigger support system for Amber Heard, but they've said some pretty insulting things. I think that they don't realize were insulting, but things like, and I don't remember the exact quote, you can look it up, don't quote me on this, but it was like, if Amber Heard, this star, uh, you know, Caucasian woman can't win, what does that say for all other women? You know, like, what does that say for all other women what? Because she is a star in Caucasian? Does that mean everyone else is below her? Like, she should have definitely won because she's this higher up person or something. I mean, it's like, you know what? That's pretty freaking insulting to say something like that. Pretty darn insulting. I heard that and my jaw dropped. I was like, Elaine, attorney situation, Angel Sutures Guides. How is this going to affect an appeal in the long term? <sighs> death card. Is she digging herself a hole? Is she digging herself a hole? Six of Cups. She's trying to transform the public opinion of Amber Heard is what she's doing. Seven of Pentacles right there. Um, I'm not sure that she's 100% confident in that this is, you know, a healthy endeavor. This is the six of cups. I wonder if she's going to come out and say that there was something about Amber's childhood to garner more sympathy, to change the public opinion of her. And, or maybe Amber is, you know, trying to encourage her to do these things, but in the end, I mean, planting the seeds and waiting to see if something grows from all of this. Let's see what happens. You know what I mean? Like, she, she's, she's, they're trying to just garner sympathy for the other side. Death with Ten of Swords, 
uh, uh, I don't I don't think it's gonna work guys but this also um, are the influences on the current situation I mean she lost death card ten of swords those are um, you know death really just means transformation that's the Scorpio card but ten of swords is pretty much like it's over okay it's over you lost okay Yep, they want everybody to look at it again. Look more closely at the situation, the appeal. I'm almost wondering if she, she I think she's doubting that the appeal will even be heard, okay? Six of Wands in reverse. I don't read reversals, so. Um, I did a reading the other day on the appeal, and it was looking like things were over, and the appeal wasn't likely at that time, but remember, things change every day. The energy changes, um, and so let's get some clarity because this is saying an appeal might, she might, she's either getting closer to possibly being granted an appeal or she believes if she builds this community of support that she might be able to get an appeal. So let's see if this is just Elaine's wishful thinking here or if this is actually a possibility. Right now I'm thinking it's her wishful thinking, okay? I also believe she thought they were gonna win this trial hands down, like no brainer, you know? Amber also might be being coached to be more authentic if there is a retrial, you know, get in touch with her authentic self, higher self, um, it's also like wanting something to happen. Um, wanting to redo this from the past. So again, this is about the, the appeal. Can you please clarify the death card for me, please? Please clarify the death card. Clarify the death card. Thank you. Four of Swords. Guys, these are death card four of swords. It's 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 over. Okay. Four of Swords. Everybody's exhausted. You know, they're worn out. Sometimes this can mean an illness or something like that. But um Elaine herself may be exhausted from this trial, but definitely the trial has ended and I, I just feel like it's run its course and they're trying to take a breather and restart this thing. Well, I mean, obviously they are, but the Four of Swords and the Death card, a lot of times the Four of Swords can indicate, like I said, um, an illness or exhaustion. Um, and some of my true crime readings, it actually will in, implicate like an actual impending uh, uh, death. I'm not saying that literally about either one of these people, but I'm saying the situation, if the um, trial were an entity, a person, and it is an energetic entity unto itself, which is how we can do readings on things like a trial because it has its own energy around it. And I believe that this is just 
this is definitely all over. It's done. It needs to be put to rest. Okay. Then we got the five of pentacles. This is a uh, basically kind of like Amber's inner child feeling like, you know, she should have won and she didn't. And she feels like it was very unfair. All right. I mean, she truly believes that this was unfair and she was left out. Um, Elaine also may be taking this personally. It may be uh, because she did lose and maybe she doesn't think she did such a great job. But actually, I saw an interview with her earlier today where she, um, the interviewer asked her, do you feel like you could have done a better job? Like, what about the burden of um, proof or to be on you? How do you feel like that? She totally changed the subject. Didn't even answer the question, okay? And it's like, so I don't know if Elaine has a little bit of, is in denial or maybe a touch of uh, narcissistic tendency where she's, she really is blaming everyone else and, and is not taking any responsibility. Or maybe she's just sort of delusional a little bit and in denial of reality. I'm not sure. It's a very strange thing. But maybe it's her job to do that. I don't know. I don't... I know a few attorneys, but they're males and they would... Um, they're not... They don't behave that way. The chariot, wanting to get things moving, wanting to get things going um, with the seven of pentacles. I wonder if she's thinking about leaving the case. Ooh, you know what? People may be, ooh, I just got chills. She may feel inside or she may get kind of criticized in the media to the point where she's like, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. Like, this is not worth it to be put in the spotlight and take all of um, this crap from the public. She may actually stop representing Amber Heard. And plus, I don't know if any of these attorneys have been paid yet either, the legal team. Or maybe Elon Musk paid for her legal team. I have no idea. I haven't researched that at all. But somebody's wanting to take off here, okay? Um, the chariot can also represent being led by spirit, you know, having faith, um, taking a chance, and moving forward without knowing how things are going to end. But I am wondering if she's considering that. And that would be something that maybe she only knows. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords, please. I'm sure my gods are like, what do you want us to say? Like, <laughs> we've already told you. Page of Cups, next to the Page of Cups. They just can't accept defeat, guys. They're wanting to start over. They're wanting their dream to come true, and they're not going to give up on it, okay? This is the When Pigs Fly card. It's like, yeah, we know that we lost, but um, that's not what we wanted to happen. So we want to do this again and make this thing up there, you know, in the other dimensions or whatever, and bring that down. And um, it's like, we want to start this over. Next to the Page of Cups, I want my heart's desire. So it's like a refusal to accept the truth. And, and that's the energy I'm getting with that ten of swords. It's like refusing, just refusing to see the truth. Not understanding. Nope, I want my dream to come true. I'm still dreaming of this thing and I'm gonna make it happen. Let's do this one. We'll 
we'll take this one too. It wants to come out. Shh, the tower. The tower, folks. I don't think it's going to happen. I think they're going to get knocked down again. They want this transformation. They want this dream to come true. But I, I don't think it, it's... I don't think it's going to be... I don't think it's going to work. Because this is the inner dream, right? Is this Queen of Pentacles wanting to be on top, wanting the money, wanting... This could also be her or them wanting to bring the tower down. The dream is the tower to win bigger, redo the lawsuit. It would, wouldn't it be something if they did get an appeal and she came out with absolutely nothing, not even $2 million, but nothing. And they gave Johnny Depp 50 or $40 million or whatever. So they're wanting to bring down this tower. That's the dream, the page of cups with the tower. They want to start over and rebuild this whole thing from the ground up. And then we've got the Queen of Pentacles because, because Amber Heard wants the money. Okay. That's what I'm getting. There's all unfair. Page of Cups, Page of Cups. I didn't get my wish that I wanted. I'm dreaming this dream. And she's concerned about her financial security at this point because she's been devastated. I think her net worth is like close to nothing or nothing right now. I'm not sure. But this didn't turn out at all as they had hoped. That's what I'm saying. It's like they're not dealing with reality or something. Like that whole, this whole, oops, six of wands, six of wands again, six of wands on top of six of wands with the page of wands and then the eight of wands, a change in the wind. So I don't know. There's some kind of quick success here. Okay. Um, the six of wands is feeling successful, so they may get an appeal they may or they may get some kind of positive um, momentum or a positive sign or uh, a ho something hopeful some hopeful information with these two six of wands and the page of wands here starting this new endeavor or maybe they just believe they're going to be all right the community is saying yes we support you blah 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 but then we've got the eight of wands which is a change in in direction so um i think the smoky mirror is they are deluding themselves this whole thing is a delusion remember and I don't know if I said this at the beginning, this is the anchor card. Everything here is telling the story of the illusion. So I feel that she believes, okay, that they're gonna be successful. When they start this thing again, maybe take a new approach, it's going to change everything, okay, the way the trial was done. We'll see. We'll keep an eye on it. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I'm going to pull a Sacred Destiny card and see what that says. Now, as far as her having to repay uh, or pay Johnny that money, um, in the meantime, I don't know if that'll happen. I'll see. I'll pull a couple of cards on that. Sacred Destiny card for this reading, please. Angels, teachers, guides, angels, teachers. Destiny card. Thank you. Voyage. A voyage. Which is what the chariot is saying too. It's going on a voyage. So they're ready to go on this, I believe. Um, 
but I think I'm looking at the water and the moon in this photograph in this Oracle card and I just think they're a little delusional about things okay it's interesting there's a whale in here like a mother whale carrying a baby whale and so I think she feels very protective of Amber and trying to make her feel safe and assure that you know things are going to get better I just don't know because of the smoky mirror that that is going to uh, be what happens so let me pull cards on whether or not um, Amber Heard or Johnny Depp or Johnny Depp is going to um, enforce the settlement from Amber Heard. Okay, let's just check that out. Is he going to enforce that or is he going to let it go? Because I really don't think it was about the money for him. I really don't. What do you guys think? Phil called to use that spirit animal or oracle, so I may do that first. The question is, Angel's Teacher's Guides, the question is, will Amber Heard have to pay or be required to pay? I'll keep the book out in case, because I don't use these cards very often, but I feel compelled to use these. Is Amber Heard going to be required to pay up? Oh, right there. Butterfly Spirit. Transformation is beautiful. This is the death card again, okay, basically. So, let's see. It's card number 11. Let's see what it says. Transformation is inevitable as you grow into the most beautiful, empowered self. Indeed, you will go through some uncomfortable stages as you let go of the forms of your life that no longer fit the new you. Even where relationships must go through shifts to match your new emerging self. If you focus on the beauty and not the challenges, stop taking yourself too seriously and choose to be playful, loving, and joyous. You will soon know the miracle your soul wants to experience through you. Today is a day for joy. Look around and see the beauty that is everywhere and in everyone, including you. Change does not have to be traumatic or dramatic as, as they may seem to be. Remember, change is the only true constant. When you resist it, you create a tension within you as you refuse to accept the inevitable. In the moment, you may have forgotten the beauty and joy of life as it moves through its seasons, as nature dictates you are being faced with a choice now you can struggle with the current conditions refusing to surrender and see through the lens of lack and loss or you can surrender to the grace that is calling you to allow life to take its course moving through the sadness and disappointment surrender will soften you so I'm thinking that the feeling the energy that I'm getting from this is I don't think he cares one way or another okay it's about surrendering he was ready to change his life he was ready to get this over with unfortunately it's still going on she's still sort of got her energetic little claws in right not wanting to let go not accepting that this is the way things are this is the way things turned out and wanting to go on and on and on um, what a nightmare If they can't have you, they don't want you to be happy. They just can't let you go. They're going to tie you up in court for years and years and years. <clears throat> okay. We've got the sign. Wow. That's the best card in the whole deck. The sign. Is Johnny Depp going to require Amber Heard to pay? He certainly is in the sun, right? And I love the fact, I know this sounds a little bit cruel, but I love the fact that 
he wasn't even in court the day of the decision. He's like, I did what I came to do and that's all that matters. Okay. So that's why I don't, I'm not feeling that he, he got his day in the sun and that is all that matters. He didn't need to be there and jump up and down and hug everybody because he won. It wasn't about winning for him exactly. It was about him telling a story. And one of the arguments that Elaine had was that Amber did get to tell her story before, or I mean, sorry, that Johnny did not get to tell his story before. That is absolutely not true because the lawsuit before, which was the UK lawsuit, was Johnny Depp suing a uh, media outlet, a newspaper, right? A, a, a journalistic, you know, uh, company. So no, he didn't get to tell a story because it wasn't about the actual abuse. It was about the, the slander, right, in the paper. So no, he didn't get to tell his side of the story. And there wasn't a jury. It was just one judge hearing everything. We've got the King of Swords. Well, he is extremely intelligent. The son, and I believe he's smarter than that, okay? He does not wanna deal with her in the future. And so again, she's saying she's devastated, but if she never pays them, well, I guess she's not financially devastated then, is she? I did hear though that um, quite a bit was spent on attorneys, but again, we don't know who paid those attorneys. And the Six of Wands success. Okay, so we got a lot of Six of Wands. I think he's feeling pretty good about the success. He got his day in the sun. He transformed possibly most of the public opinion about him after that uh, devastating UK uh, situation. And so he's feeling pretty good, right? High hopes for the future. He's got his act together. I think he is um, gonna let all of that go. And if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That's my interpretation, guys. Thank you for being here. Uh, thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't yet, please do. Helps out the channel so much. Just that one little thing, totally free for you to do. Just hit the subscribe button and a little bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.